Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, it is a hey, one shot of the Abyss Champion. And if you're wondering why I started the recording at like 700 or like 680 hits, it's it because, well, realistically, in my plans, I plan to use Doom for this fight. But I knew Spider Man could do it. And I wasn't going to use him for any other fights after this. So I was like, might as well see if I can just do as much damage as I can before I use Doom. And I got the one shot. So. That's why it starts out at like 700 hits, because I didn't plan on recording, and then once like I was like 700 hits in, I was like, wait, I could actually one-shot this fight. So I went for it. This fight, I think, actually, like it feels longer, or like very close to the same length as Abyss Luke Cage, only because every time he uses a special one, he had like this random chance to get like a three, I think, percent regen. I can't remember. It was a while ago when I did this. And he got it so many times with this fight, and... He easily doubled his health pool, like, at least once. So, he at least had, like, over 5 million health from the odds of regens. Um, towards the end, I start getting better at pushing him to the special 2 and just praying he doesn't use special 1. But, yeah, it's a pretty cool one-shot, considering the fact that it's, t like, at least over 5 million health, and I had to, like, intercept basically only, because it was start and I don't, cause if you don't know, in Abyss, um... After the hit timer, after like 200 whatever hits, um, he goes fully unstoppable, fully unblockable, and gets this power gain. And you can't, the power gain, if you can survive it and hope that he doesn't like, you gotta hope he uses a special or like activate it when he's at like barely any power. He won't go to three bars power, he'll just get close. And then after that, he's just fully unblockable and unstoppable. But Stark Spider Man, as you know, not Stark Spider Man, Stealthy Spider Man, he can, um, what's it called? He can bypass Unstoppable. And right there, I mean, I got hit. But the thing about this fight is I remember in that moment thinking, okay, I got hit. I'm just going to play perfect because in this fight, I mean, you don't... I mean, you can do this whole fight basically with one HP since you're intercepting only. So health doesn't really matter too much. But um, I do remember in this fight, I think a few times, Stelcia Spider-Man's uh, passive evade saves me a few times. So, yeah, it's um, it's very fun. Very fun indeed, getting saved by that. Um, this was my second Abyss run. It was path three, I think. Um, I wanted to get the two Havocs out of the way. I'm planning on doing path two within the next ten days. So, after I do that path, we'll be three paths down, and then I only have two left. And, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited indeed. I, I've been putting off the paths because I didn't have Human Torch, but, um... Uh, what's it called? I, f I didn't pull him torch, but from the like um, the rift thing last month, I got assigned to awakening gem, and I realized, oh my god, I could use this on void, and now my void's rank five. I haven't awakened him yet because the season rewards are coming in, and I might pull him from like a five star crystal sign. But um, yeah, I was actually really excited excited because there's a lot of fights that void's really helpful for, like Mephisto, um, Mister Sinister, just a lot of fights that like you'd want Human Torch for, and if you didn't have Human Torch, it'd be annoying. And for, like, the, um, the, what's it called? Path 4 and 5, the last two paths I'm doing, are gonna be the path with, what's it called? What's his name? Gladiator Hulk, and you need, you need, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, what's his name? Void for it. But they nerfed that fight, so you can't use Void for the entire fight. Last 75%, you just have to use a debuff character. So I'm thinking of bringing my 4-star Human Torch. I don't know how AIDS it's gonna be. I really don't know how bad it's going to be, so I am a little bit concerned with that fight. So maybe I won't just jump into the abyss right away. But I don't know. We'll see if 4-star Human Torch... As long as 4-star Human Torch can do, like, 5% each run, dude. Because I can, I can get him to 25% health with Void. And then after that, I need to use my 4-star Torch because I don't have... I need to just use someone who can do crazy debuffs, and I don't really have anyone. Most characters I have that do a lot of debuffs, um... Actually, could I use Hyperion for that? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe Quake, but I'm, like, risking... Like, I don't want to risk it, and Quake might not work, so I really don't know. Because if Quake can work, then I could probably use her, because it'll be, like, 25% of the 5.7 million. So it'll be a little... It'll be, like, 1.2 million or something like that. Just something like around there. Not 1.5. It'll be, like, a little bit less than 1.5 million. So I don't know. Maybe I'll bring Quake. If Quake can work, I feel like she'd be the better option, because I'm pretty sure I can one-shot that fight if I just play safe. I've had some long quake fights, like when I did the um, 
the new Wolverine X twenty, uh, the new Wolverine character, the X whatever it was called, like the Weapon X thing. I used my two star against a rank three six star with and the, the rank three six star had willpower, so my concussions are like barely out damaging him, and that was like an eight minute fight, and uh, I mean. Yeah, I did that, and he was playing crazy aggressive, like, that fight would have been a lot faster if he wasn't playing so aggressive, but, so I think maybe I'll Quake Gladiator Hulk for the last 25%, because I need to use a debuff, I'm just scared because I don't know if Quake will work or not, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to bring Quake in, and if she doesn't work, I'm going to have to back out, I don't know, dude, it's going to be a little risky, uh, she should work, because he just, he, he needs to take debuff damage, right, so like, I don't know, dude. I really don't know if Quake will work. I'm really hoping she will. Because he takes like 200 damage from like normal hits. And you just need to do debuff. And her thing is like basically a debuff. And I mean, it, her stuff gets around all like the 90% nudes in X6. So like, I don't know, dude. I really don't know. I, I think it'll work. But if it doesn't, that's going to be really sad that I got like three fights all the way to her. Used a few revives to get to her. Gladiator Hulk. And then all of a sudden, she just doesn't work. And I'm roadblocked. Actually... I'll be in Quake, and I think about it. If she doesn't work, I could just use spam special twos with Aegon. I don't know how long that'll take, but I guess my next best option, I guess. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. I'll probably just, you know, I'll probably be in Quake. Because the worst comes to worst, it doesn't work. I don't have to back out. I can just spam special twos with Aegon. So, yeah, that fight. Yeah, I don't know. I wish it was just like the old version where I didn't have to worry about it, but it's not, so that's fun. Um, yeah, so, I'm going to probably stop talking now, because there's not much else for me to talk about, and I'll cut to the end, I mean, it definitely was a one-shot, you can see the hits at the end, so don't worry about that, like, the cut, um, because you'll see the total hits at the end, I think it was, like, something like 1400 or something like that, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this champion one-shot, and yeah, and as you can see, this is a regen, it fucked a lot, um, it's just an, it's just an annoying thing. But I did one shot him, so I didn't have to use any revives on my Doom or anything. It was pretty nice. I was like, well, that's pretty sexy. Zero revives on Champion. Very fun indeed. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get a like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.